Set how you'd like each row or module stick or unstick as users scroll through your site with the new sticky scrolling feature. This cool feature is very useful when navigating through a site, especially if it's a portfolio or a lengthy landing page. For this tutorial video, we'll showcase how you can add this cool new feature using the Themeify Builder. For this example, we'll be looking at this portfolio page. We'll break it down to two different things. First, how to set up this menu module and how it remains sticky as you scroll through the entire page. Second, is how to make a module stick and unstick as you scroll, just like how we see the text module here. Let's get started. Let's first start with this layout. We can see that none of the elements are sticky as I scroll through the site. Now, let's apply it on the menu module. To do this, let's first turn on the builder. Edit the menu module, and then click on the animations tab. Scroll down and you'll see the sticky scrolling feature. Let's check the sticks add feature, and then select from the drop down whether we would like it to stick at the top or at the bottom position. I'm going to choose the top position. Then, I'm going to leave the unstick when checkbox unchecked. This will leave it sticky as I scroll through the entire page. Now I'm going to save the changes that I've done. And when I view the page in logout mode, I'll see the sticky scrolling now applied on the menu module. Now let's go back to the page. Let's add the sticky scrolling now to the text module and set up how to stick and unstick the module. First, what we'll need to do is edit a portfolio row. On the row options, you'll see the ID name input field. This is specifically for the builder's sticky feature and is used to identify the element. So think of it as an identifier so that it'll know when to unstick as you scroll. This is a really important feature when setting up the unsticking feature. I'll explain more about this later. For now, let's just input an ID name. I'm going to call it Portfolio Row. Then, on the next row, I'm going to do the same thing and call it Contact Row. Finally, on the last row, I'm going to call it Footer Row. Now that I've added the ID name for each row, I'm now going to edit the text module and click on the animation tab. Then scroll down to the sticky scrolling feature again. Check the stick at checkbox to activate the sticky scrolling feature. I'm going to then select top position. And then for the pixel, I'm going to add 100 pixel. This is so that when the user scroll through it, it won't stick to the very top. Then I'm going to now check the unstick when checkbox. On the drop down, I'm going to select row. Then we'll see on the drop down the ID names of the row that we've created a while ago. I'm going to select portfolio row. And on the bottom drop down, I'm going to keep it at hits. The reason for this is because I want the about text to unstick when it hits the portfolio row. Then I'm going to click done. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other text elements. Now when I refresh the page in logout mode, you'll see the about text now sticky as I scroll, but only until the portfolio row. And the portfolio row only until the contact row. And that's it. And that's how you add the sticky scrolling feature on your page. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions on how to use this feature or suggestions on the next tutorial video that we should make, feel free to leave a comment below or email us at info at themify.me. For more Themify tutorial videos, check out our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.